STS-48 was a space shuttle mission that launched on 12 September 1991, from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The orbiter was Space Shuttle Discovery. The primary payload was the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite. The mission landed on 18 September at 12.38 am at Edwards Air Force Base on runway 22. The mission was completed in 81 revolutions of the Earth and traveled 2.2 million miles. The five astronauts carried out a number of experiments and deployed several satellites. The total launch mass was 240,062 pounds, 108,890 kilograms, and the landing mass was 192,780 pounds, 87,440 kilograms. Topic: Kiru Topic. Crew seating arrangements Topic. Mission highlights Space Shuttle Discovery was launched into a 57-degree inclination orbit from the Kennedy Space Center KSC Launch Complex 39A at 7:11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time EDT on the 12th of September 1991 Launch was delayed for 14 minutes at the T5 minute mark due to a noise problem in the air to ground link The noise cleared itself and the Countdown proceeded normally to launch. On the third day of the mission, the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite UARS was deployed from Discovery's Payload Bay 350 statute miles above Earth to study human effects on the planet's atmosphere and its shielding ozone layer. The UARS mission objectives were to provide an increased understanding of the energy input into the upper atmosphere, global photochemistry of the upper atmosphere, dynamics of the upper atmosphere, the coupling among these processes, and the coupling between the upper and lower atmosphere. This provided data for a coordinated study of the structure, chemistry, energy balance, and physical action of the Earth's middle atmosphere, that slice of air between 10 and 60 miles above the Earth. The UARS was the first major flight element of NASA's mission to planet Earth, a multi-year global research program that would use ground-based, airborne, and space-based instruments to study the Earth as a complete environmental system. UARS had 10 sensing and measuring devices, cryogenic limb array Adalon spectrometer clays, improved stratospheric and mesospheric sounder ISAMS, microwave limb sounder MLS, halogen occultation experiment HALOE, high-resolution Doppler imager HRDI, wind imaging interferometer WLNDII, solar ultraviolet spectral irradiance monitor Monitor SUSIM, Solar, Stellar Irradiance Comparison Experiment Solstice, Particle Environment Monitor PEM, and Active Cavity Radiometer Irradiance Monitor ACRIM2. UARS's initial 18-month mission was extended several times, it was finally retired after 14 years of service. Secondary payloads were, Ascent Particle Monitor APM, MIDIC Zero Gravity Dynamics Experiment Mode, Shuttle Activation Monitor SAM, Cosmic Ray Effects and Activation Monitor CREAM, Physiological and Anatomical Rodent Experiment PAIR, Protein Crystal Growth E2 PCGE2, Investigations into Polymer Membrane Processing IPMP, and the Air Force Maui Optical Site Amos experiment. The flight was the first to test an electronic still camera in space, a modified Nikon F4. Images obtained during the flight were monochrome with 8 bits of digital information per pixel, 256 gray levels, and stored on a removable hard disk. 
The images could be viewed and enhanced on board using a modified laptop computer before being transmitted to the ground via the Orbiter digital downlinks. STS 48 was the second post Challenger mission to have Kennedy Space Center as the planned end of mission landing site, and the first mission to have a planned night landing at KSC. However, due to weather conditions at KSC in Florida, Discovery flew one extra orbit and landed at Edwards Air Force Base, California, at 3.38 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on 18 September 1991. The orbiter returned to KSC on 26 September 1991. Ice particles Video while in orbit on 15 September 1991 shows a flash of light and several objects that appear to be flying in an artificial or controlled fashion. NASA explained the objects as ice particles reacting to engine jets. Philip C. Play discussed the issue in his book Bad Astronomy, agreeing with NASA. This topic was also discussed in an episode of UFO Hunters. Topic: <inaudible> Wake-up calls. NASA began its long-standing tradition of waking up astronauts with music during Apollo 15. Each track is specially chosen, often by the astronauts' families, and usually has a special meaning to an individual member of the crew, or is applicable to their daily activities. See also List of human spaceflights List of space shuttle missions Nikon NASA F4 Outline of Space Science Topic Notes This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Topic. External links NASA Mission Summary STS-48 Video Highlights <laughs>